We've all heard that adding probiotics to the supplement regimen of people with MS has proven to be beneficial. In one study, researchers concluded that a 12-week supplementation with probiotics offered therapeutic benefit to people with multiple sclerosis by improving their disability scores, their mental status, and metabolic biomarkers. I don't even know what the hell a metabolic biomarker is, but if it gets improved in patients with MS, I'll take it. So as I'm figuring out different kinds of strands and what they do, I thought a few of them might be interesting to you. Saccharomyces boulardii. Now aside from sounding like the name of somebody I went to high school with, Saccharomyces boulardii has been shown to help with mental health, quality of life, fatigue, pain, and oxidative stress in patients with multiple sclerosis. Yeah, I would want improvement in all of those areas, even if I didn't have MS, so you knew I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. Lactobacillus plantarum. According to some studies, this strain has helped to improve the performance of spatial memory and learning although the results of that study are still kind of subject to scrutiny. Hell, I don't even need independent verification at this point. I would take even alleged spatial memory and learning improvement. Like, can I have some of that alleged memory improvement, please? Allegedly? Please? Lactobacillus acidophilus. It's been shown to increase short-chain fatty acids in the body, and short-chain fatty acids have an effect on how energy is metabolized in the body, and thus affects metabolic disease. Short-chain fatty acids have anti-inflammatory effects and play a role in kickstarting the differentiation of immune cells that help keep the peace. You know, those regulatory T cells that be eating your brain and your spine. Yeah, it kind of just shut them down. There was a time that I was on a probiotic called VSL number three, which is supposed to be very good for people with MS, but all it did was give me a headache and I felt extra gross on top of my normal levels of feeling gross. So hopefully this time around, I will feel 70% less gross. So I'm gonna put some new bacteria in my stomach consistently over a period of 12 weeks and let you know how it go. Okay, bye.